Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for um, dropping by again. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been putting off for quite a while while I was sorting the head out and I'm going to try and tackle those marks on the cylinder ball, uh, which is a little bit scary because if this doesn't go well, I've got to strip the engine completely and pull that block. Um, and even doing that is, um, well, I know I've got half of it out, but I've got to do the other half and I've still got to get everything. It's just a nightmare. So I'm going to tack it. So, so my, uh, my strategy for this is to measure the, the ball with one of these things and, and find out where, uh, whether I'm up or down. And um, I believe it should be up because it feels like a bump. Um, and then I'm going to take some wet and dry. This is P600. I'm going to use some engine oil as lubricant. And I'm just going to let the paper do the work. I'm just going to put the finger over the top and I'm going to sort of move in a cross hatch method to um, remove that material. And I'm going to do a slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Keep cleaning it up so I can see what I'm working on. Keep feeling it with my finger to see what's going. Keep measuring it to see whether I'm moving in the right direction. And uh, we'll go from there. So if you're new here, thank you very much for driving by. I hope you find this interesting. And if you do like what you see and you want to help someone out, um, please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button. If you're back for more, welcome back. The fun continues. Um, I'm really nervous about this one, but let's crack on. And if you want to see how we got here in the first place, follow the links up there and um, we'll, it will show you the whole journey. It's been fun. Um, do catch up if you haven't. You'll either see me smiling or crying at the end of this. So um, place bets now. Um, put some comments down below, smiling or crying. What do you think? I've got no idea. Fingers crossed. Not as bad as I thought. So before I do anything drastic, I think I'm just gonna get some oil on a cloth and give that a rub and see if it'll come off. So this is not abrasive really, I'm just trying to sort of soften any crap up and get it off. It's working. It's a tiny bit. Clean up a lot of it, but there's still you can still feel a tiny ridge. <clears throat> so that's encouraging. So um, basically, I've thrown the the ball. I don't know what this is called. It's called a. It's called a manometer quadranto. Whatever the hell one of those is. <clears throat> so essentially, what you do is you. Um, you set the distance and then this slides down and there's a tiny little plunger on the ends um, that actually measures the, the differences as it goes through the, the ball. Um, and what you'll see is on the gauge, so um, as it's, i push it in, as it's um, going down the ball, it'll be sort of moving up and down um, as it picks up the irregularities in the ball. And um, if it feels like a, a ridge or a bump, it will push it this way. So it will show that there's, um, movement of certain millimeters and if it feels like there's a dent it will go the other way what i'm seeing is encouragingly what i'm seeing is that the, the move the gauge moves this way so it's showing that there's a ridge and it's about half a mile um, so um, while i've cleaned it up with a little bit of oil um, that's all great what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a little bit of wet and dry i'm going to start with 600 and use oil as lubricant fill up the bottom of the the piston with um, some um, towel and stuff to stop all the stuff from dripping through and i'm going to slowly I'm going to take that um, sandpaper and I'm going to sort of do it in a cross hatch as I go over that to remove the material and I'll measure as I go with this to see if I'm moving in the right direction um, and I'm only going to touch that tiny little bit that I'm working on so I'm trying not to disturb the rest of the, the cylinder ball. Fingers crossed. Um, if this all goes wrong I've lost nothing because I'm going to have to pull the engine anyway um, but if this goes well and I can clean this up then I don't have to pull the engine which is a bonus isn't it so um, let's see how we get on. Right, here goes nothing.
for a bit, bit to clean up, but what do you think so far? It's not looking too bad, is it? It's just that tiny little mark there now. But actually, you can barely, barely feel that. I am going to say jobs are good in because, oh, let's get this towel out of the way. So you see those tiny little specks there, they're where the original mark was and you can see where I've been taking it, but I've measured it, it's absolutely round, um, there's no deviation, but you cannot feel a thing there, that is, um, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, and this is a bit of a gamble, um, when I start this up, one of the first things I'm going to do is compression chest. Compression chest? Compression test. And um, that will tell us whether we've got compression or not. Obviously, because that's what compression test does. And then um, we'll go from there, but I think that's good. So I am not going to be pulling this block. <coughs> I'm not going to rehone it with AN30 oil or anything like that, so um, that cross hatch should help promote oil capture um, and give me the compression still when I go through. If I do like straight scrapes or like vertical or horizontal scrapes, uh, what you end up with is ridges and the, the rings won't like that. And the, the, the vertical ones, the oil has just got a passage that goes straight past the rings. Um, so you don't want to do that, you want to do like diagonal ones the same way as you're honing it. So that is absolute brilliant news. Um, I made up. Things seem to be turning a corner, but we'll find out when we get this all back together, start the engine. So literally, this is just like P600 wet and dry, and um, I soaked it in engine oil, um, same engine oil that I used when I did the oil change that first time around, which is all grinding down the drain now, but never mind. Um, and then I literally just um, cross-hatched it with my finger, but I wasn't even pressing against it. I was just letting the, the paper do the work um, so that you're not trying to sort of take away anything that I'm not trying to eat into the material I'm trying to take away that surface bump where there was a build-up of whatever it was um, so um, and it's gone um, yeah I've got a little bit of cross hatching on the boards um, and I was kind of expecting that because I'm scratching it um, and you know when you look at the other cylinder boards they're all nice and absolutely um, silky smooth and clean because the alley seal there's no um, there's no hone marks on them or anything like that because the alu seal is like a coating. So um, if anything, I've just put like a, a small normal hone mark into it. So that will help the, the oil seal and um, hopefully we'll get a compression. I've measured the bore um, and it's, um, it's uniform all the way through. So that half mil bump that I was seeing, completely gone. Um, I can still see two tiny little marks um, and I'm guessing that's where um, things have just sort of eaten through the surface. I'm hoping that's not gonna be a problem. I'll do some research on that as well. Um, but that's it, I've cleaned it all up. I've, um, I've given it a good clean out with um, towel and oil and stuff to try and get rid of anything that I was removing and I was careful to make sure that nothing went down through the bottom of those pistons back into the engine, because I'm gonna to have to like clear all that. You don't want any of this stuff getting in there because that will, you know, it's designed to uh, remove material. You don't want that to be getting on your bearing surfaces or anything like that, so. Um, Happy days, I, you know, I think that's gone really well. I'm gonna take a chance on that. Um, for me to, for me to pull the engine and send it off and do all that is an awful lot more work. If I put all this back together and I've got no compression, I'll take it apart again. Um, I know how to take it apart now, um, but if I have to do that, I'll take the whole, thing out um, and I'll take it down to the block. I don't want to do that. I want to keep this as easy as possible. So I'm going to take a chance on that. Fingers crossed that this is going to work out. Um, things haven't really been going my way so far. So we'll see how it plays out, I guess. Um, but yeah, job's good. And a um, little bit scary doing that. Um, not going to lie, but I think that's turned out really well. So I'm over the moon. 
Anyway, thank you very much. Um, if you haven't already, please do hit that like and subscribe button. That would help me out tremendously. Um, if you want to go and see how we got here in the first place, follow follow the links up there. That will take you back to the, the start where we um, started turning the engine down. And um, next up, I've got the, the big stuff to do. So this is where it starts getting a little bit tricky for me. So I need to get the car up in the air so I can work underneath it. So I'm gonna have to build some um, some stands. I've, I've got some ramps I can put it on the front or the rear or whatever. But I need to get the car up in the air. I need to get an engine um, support that goes over the top so I can brace it. Um, and I need to work out how I can safely drop that subframe um, whilst keeping the engine supported, get all that stuff out of the way. So I've got a bit of um, the logistics to go through and I've got some more equipment to buy, which I didn't want to buy unless I had to. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and buy those. Um, <clears throat> and the fun really, 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 really starts here. The fun really does start here, doesn't it? Um, so next up I will be probably building some ramps to, to get the car up in the air. And then I've got to work out all the different bits I need to disconnect underneath so I can drop that subframe out and um, we'll go from there. So um, there's my neighbour trying to ignore me. <laughs> Mad man in the garage. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Like I say, if you haven't already, please do hit that like and subscribe button. That would help me out tremendously. And um, don't be afraid of this stuff. You know, it looks complicated um, with a little bit of patience, a um, little bit of a level head to take time over things. You can do this stuff too. There's, there's nothing magical about these cars. Um, they're just nuts and bolts and metal. So we'll see how it turns out. But there you go. Anyway, see you on the driveway next time. Cheers, guys.